Hey there Taurus, welcome to my channel Serious About Stars and welcome to your reading. This reading here is entirely timeless, so whenever it is that you have um, been guided to click on this video for some reason or another, then this here is the time frame that there is some kind of a message in here for you and it could be just one thing that you were brought here to receive and it could be just about the entire reading as well, so take it as it resonates only. As it resonates, allow your intuition to be present and confirm whether or not something is a message for you or not. Um, with that said about it being timeless, um, I am going to be uploading this video during Taurus season here. So it is likely that it's your um, birthday month. Um, so happy birthday. Um, real quickly before we get into your reading, uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, Serious About Stars. And do watch these videos for your sun sign, moon sign, and rising sign, especially as I just have gotten a lot of the feedback that those um, other placements have been resonating for people. Also, on a side note, I started an Etsy shop just making like little crystal healing bracelets and um, crystal healing trees. Uh, so yeah, I'll figure out how to link that if you're interested in that. Anyway continuing on Taurus. So I meditated on your energy. I've pre-pulled a few cards and we'll pull more cards live and on camera towards the end. So stick around for that. Taurus for your meditation. Okay. So the first thing I really got for your meditation, it's like, it's like stillness and also, um, like a healthy silence, like, um, even not necessarily just, um, like silence like it's almost like leaving certain situations um kind of behind certain um maybe routines things that have become routine maybe obligations that might even speak to certain people in your life that um have just kind of been affecting your energy and your thoughts and your outlook just a little bit more than you thought. Um, like a certain silence, a certain kind of quiet um, also kind of, this also feels like it speaks to um, kind of quieting your thoughts a little bit, quieting the noise, quieting the anger maybe, just dimming the anger quieting that, finding this, this stillness and this peace, this really incredible peace, um, perhaps that you find once certain things are, um, I don't want to say removed, uh, for some people there, yeah, there, um, there could be something being kind of eclipsed at this time, right? You know, anytime something is eclipsed from your life, something, um, seems to um, go away or end it's it's always there's no ending without a beginning like there is something new that you are finding something but it feels like I'm feeling renewed something is being renewed and it feels like it's you Taurus it feels like your energy is being renewed this could also really speak to like your own inner child um, really kind of healing maybe certain like emotional wounds from your past um i'm feeling i even like when i meditated on your energy i really felt um the color green in fact i felt i felt it so strong that i wrote down some notes i just i jotted down some notes so i don't for, miss anything for you but i wrote it in all in with a green pen and i feel taurus like surrounding yourself with um, more of the color green um, just kind of intentionally to um, kind of promote this healing or this heart healing energy this inner child healing energy um, could be really helpful like a little thing that you could do to kind of like smooth the path perhaps I don't know yeah smooth the path um, simplify the path um, you know, with that said, oftentimes, like the color green, right, it speaks to the heart. It can also speak to money, but it speaks a lot to the heart chakra. And especially like when we like work with like even green crystals, sometimes, sometimes 
it's not comfortable even though it is for the highest purpose um, in your highest timeline and all good things it's it can be uncomfortable it can even be painful sometimes that those toxic things as they those toxic um, energies leave your energy your body your your life that that um, transition is never comfortable anytime that you are like purging something from your life something is being purged you think about like physical purging it's a very uncomfortable kind of painful kind of maybe even stressful whatever kind of experience but ultimately the purpose is incredible so Taurus I just want to like say as a little reminder if you are going through something that is painful or uncomfortable um, and it's like you're having to let go of something um, it's for the highest purpose it is for the highest highest possible purpose and a very positive outcome is is just on the other side of this um, but anytime yeah anytime you're purging something and to release that from your body or your soul or your mind or your spirit um, yeah there, there, there's always there's always that um, there's no way around the, that that feeling of those those energies as that leaves your energy. So I just want to put that up out there. Um, another little intuitive message that I got for you, Taurus, was about saying no. About saying no. Um, for someone here, I just I really feel that um, saying no um, could be this this very like powerful thing right now is very helpful thing for your your like soul's growth just saying no it really feels like there are certain obligations responsibilities even if it's like subtle responsibilities like unspoken responsibilities things that you've taken upon yourself to kind of do um it's like saying no to that maybe saying no to someone that you like always say yes to like you can't say no to but but saying no and that being um like a far greater experience than you kind of thought so yeah i really feel that for someone maybe not for everyone but for someone like you'd know you'd know if that's for you if you have trouble saying no um i'm just gonna look down at my notes see what else i wanted to say but um you know as there could be as okay i really do feel towards like there is a certain kind of like break that you're having to take from certain things or people right but it, at the same time there's also this encouragement to spend time with people who um bring out the best in you who make you feel good who you have fun with um it's not a time to really go into hermit mode it is a time to be around people that um bring out the best in you who you have a good time with um do things that are like meditative for you also things that you enjoy things that you can just like lose track of time and like um kind of like lose like seriousness and like even i'm feeling really like thoughts like if you think a lot right if you kind of have a tendency to stress about certain things do something that where you can't be stressed while you're doing it like do something i don't know i feel like everyone's gonna have like a different thing that they love and enjoy that kind of gives them that whatever that is whatever that innately is for you maybe you love cooking maybe you love drawing maybe you like some i don't know i feel like some certain activity and people around you might not think that's like the coolest thing ever or something maybe like kind of like tease you about it or something um <clears throat> my voice got all like cracky there correctly there um i just i don't know i feel like that's confirmation that there's really kind of something potent for somebody there anyway um but yeah i don't know do what it is that you enjoy because you enjoy it and it doesn't don't let go of the opinions of others like let your voice be like turn up the volume of like your inner voice and maybe down the volume of um know maybe what like other people say and try to influence you that maybe has influenced you more than you knew um but yeah um i'm just gonna peek down at the notes for you here make sure i kind of kind of touched on everything i wanted to share from your meditation um but yeah i feel like kind of like this finding this lighter energy um for some people here, I feel like there is kind of like a heavy
heaviness that is being released, but there's also this lighter energy that you are finding through this experience. Um, really a lot of like, I don't know, again, like inner child um, healing, finding, renewing, like holding your own inner child, your, your yourself inside, like um, unconditional love, heart opening energy here. Um, but yeah, um, also, also um, plants came up, like water your plants, you know, water, and maybe you get a plant to so water your plants and also water yourself, you know, uh, give to yourself, nurture yourself, take care of yourself the way that you take care of and nurture and value other things and people that you cherish like more than anything. Um, pour that energy into yourself, hold yourself, like value yourself. Um, really take a, like really like even like look in the mirror for like longer than you usually do and, and, and find like this Find your beauty, see, look at your beauty and stare at your this beauty and, and I don't know, discover more of your own beauty. I'm really feeling that, Taurus. Like um, compliment yourself, like look in the mirror and really like, I don't know, it's like, I feel like there's more to you than you see. There is more to you than you see and acknowledge. And I feel like there's this, just this energy here where you can really find that and hold that like you haven't ever held before, okay. We're going to go ahead and jump into the cards now, uh, part of your reading. So Taurus, I asked for the truth in this situation. Now, only you get to say what your truth is. No one else does. I don't. So off the AC turned on. I'm going to have to pause this and come back. So you don't have to hear that. All right. And we're back. Okay. Uh... I forget what I, if I really introduced this card yet. Okay, I asked for the truth in the situation. Underlyingly, what's going on in your life right now? This card came out, Roots Girl. The Disowned Self, number 46. Um, Taurus. I feel like, now, I feel like it doesn't always really necessarily come out with this card specifically, but with this card in this specific reading for you i really felt that there's really something going on here about um relationships your relationships with other people your relationships with people who make you mad um uh trigger people who trigger you or people who you trigger also um really there could be i don't know i really just feel something really really going on right now in, in certain dynamics and relationships a lot that you can learn about um yourself and other people through your responses to them and their responses to you um it's kind of like this where you tend we tend to treat people the way that we treat ourselves but in a way that is not obvious a way that is kind of hidden a way that other people don't see that you might not even see Taurus and um if somebody has made you feel a certain way someone's made you feel sad maybe or or, ang or angry um it could there could be this energy here where you could ask yourself okay how have I made myself feel that way um to really kind of take like this like kind of good hard look to reclaim parts of yourself that you have disowned or abandoned and things maybe like think about maybe it could have to do with something from your past that happened long ago that you never really forgave yourself for and kind of like disowned and just did not take with you like some part of you that kind of like died off in a way or that you thought of that had it had died off it ended it's no more but it's kind of like there's still this like inner child your own inner child like you're still there you're still you might still be there and there's this journey there's this remembering to go back and and, and hold yourself and nurture yourself and forgive yourself you know if you go back to those memories and you tell yourself it's okay, I forgive you. Um, 
and then there's this kind of like merging energy where your, your soul is like I don't know whole right and it might be a kind of thing where like you didn't know it what hasn't been like that but I don't know I just I feel it's kind of like Taurus okay I just picked up on um things might be, be things might be becoming undone right now like certain things in your life might like loose ends like something might it almost feels like something kind of like gives or breaks or something kind of is, is seeming to fall apart and but in that like kind of space um between these like more like solidly held things i don't know in your life i don't know i'm getting like this ball of like yarn like you know like a ball, a ball of yarn is kind of like tightly held together but it's like it starts to come apart and there's like this space in between the string and and it's kind of like you're able to kind of go places that you've not been able to go before and I don't know I'm feeling it being like for this like healing purpose so like there's this access to places in your own soul that um you can kind of go back and heal right now if you choose to um anything else from this card to share with you okay I think that was pretty much everything that I wanted to share with you from this card here um um, I also pulled a couple cards um, from another deck. Um, all of the card decks I'm using, by the way, are listed in the description so you can see that there if you want. I asked for like, what is the obstacle and the um, way to overcome it right now at this point in your life? Uh, humor was the first card to come out. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life and pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone real quickly just intuitively I feel like there's like a lot of mirroring going on right now in your life like where the obstacle could also be the um way to overcome it and the way to overcome it could also be the obstacle so in that sense it's kind of like um maybe not to just just not to get too fixated on um, things. Uh, I feel like acceptance is really important right now. Inflexibility. Um, but pride and humor. So um, pride, I love myself and I see myself and everyone. Humor, I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So somebody here, what first little kind of like thing, right? Okay, somebody, I feel, okay, well, okay, what I feel here is um, it's almost like uh, overcompensating energy or um, taking some, you know, when like there's like something good, right? Like, let's say like a health, good, healthy thing, eating vegetables. Let's just use that as like this little example here or a certain kind of, of vegetable that's just really, really healthy and um but turning it into something um unhealthy by overdoing it it's like there's been this overdoing of something that is good and is good is is good but um has kind of created this like imbalance or turn something healthy into something that's unhealthy right okay i feel like that's kind of what's going on here like maybe humor maybe somebody is over using humor and not allowing themselves to really feel things or um yeah allowing themselves to feel things or heal like it's kind of there could be this kind of humor that is actually blocking certain healing that is needed right now in your for your soul's growth um being one thing in pride i love myself and i see myself and everyone um and again um I really feel like, because we even picked up on it earlier, like a lot of mirroring going on. Like, um, I feel, yeah, it could be really important to think, to acknowledge how people make you feel and how you make people feel 
and um, really allow yourself to look in that mirror. Allow yourself to look in your, that mirror. Allow yourself um, to be seen in that mirror. I don't know. I don't know. Um, allowing yourself to look in that mirror. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go ahead and move on here. So we're going to get a few cards for your love life. A little bit of insight to certain relationships. Um, could be romantic, could be platonic. Take it as it resonates. Um, allow these messages to be malleable. Allow your intuition to be present. All right. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I feel like there's this green light. There's this yes energy. Maybe there's um, something that... I feel like this is coming... This is about like your intuition. I feel like that your intuition has been telling you something um, about somebody. And it's maybe like the reality, the facts around you don't really like add up, don't really support it. But you just feel what you feel and you can't help it. Um, and it keeps coming back up in your mind or your heart or something. And it's kind of like you're right about this. You are right about this and your feelings are real and worth exploring. Whatever that means to you, whatever that means to you. And I feel like that could really speak to something different for everyone. Um, but you're right about what you feel and it, whatever your intuition is about somebody, you are on it, like you are on it. And whatever it is that your intuition is telling you, it might not really be like in fruition right now, like it, it's still manifesting in a way, um, but it's kind of like this is worth exploring. Um, something is worth exploring. Um, I feel like um, this could have to do with somebody that you're dreaming about. I feel like you could be dreaming about someone. And I feel like... I feel like you know them. Like I feel like you understand them. I feel like you have this like this, like intuitive ability to kind of know what this other person feels. Um... And I feel like you're right about what you feel they feel. I don't know. Can I continue on here? Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. I, I, Taurus, I feel these um, cards really going together. Again, green light, green light. Like, I feel like this is like a double green light. Like, uh, like maybe like momentum is um, kind of like moving like this is something is moving forward I feel like something is moving forward in a relationship and I love that yay um, but yeah extend your lighthearted energy to others like yeah like this is not a time to be in hermit mode like get out there and I don't know like make some kind of a move I don't know um I feel like what you're looking for is there. What you're looking for is there. Okay, let's get a few more for you, Taurus. Okay, separation came out. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Taurus, I really just feel this speaking about only being really confirming like what we got from your meditation um, about, you know, certain things or people kind of, taking a break from certain things or people. Um, and it might not be like a romantic partner. It could be for somebody, it could be. And I feel like you'd know already if, if, that, if that is for you, but there's really something here about renewing your 
own energy, renewing and and growing and nourishing your your own energy here um before this relationship or this union um to be possible it's kind of like it doesn't matter how incredible like a castle or a house is built if it's built on a foundation that isn't sturdy you know it, it, it's really like foundations right now are, are so important and it's kind of like if you could see like your life going both ways like if you could see like say that if there is like a relationship that is being dismantled right now if you could see your life like in the outcome of it being dismantled and then something incredible being built in its place and you could see that that relationship not being dismantled right and moving forward and what that life would be and you compare them both side by side you would want this to be dismantled you would be on board with what is happening right now and we know we don't get the opportunity to do that but it's kind of like before we incarnate here we we did and we chose everything that we are experiencing right so it's kind of like having this faith and this trust and in, in the process and in, in, in life in life right um so yeah um and then like four cards also came out i'm gonna go through these pretty quickly healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Yeah, there could be a lot of forgiveness that is being asked of you um, to your family, to your parents, to not just your family, but I'm, I'm also feeling like other people, friends, anyone who makes you, has made you feel angry. I'm feeling like anger being a thing. Um, I don't know, for you Taurus, really thinking about, I don't know, what makes you angry? Who makes you angry? Why they make you angry? Like really taking a good hard look at that and thinking how have i made myself angry i don't know um or why does it i don't know really kind of kind of diving into that it's not comfortable but i feel like there's this this, this certain healing that is available to you through that playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine yeah again with this like renewal energy this like inner child um, kind of going out to play, allowing your own inner child to play, allowing your inner child to play, right? Um, oh, I feel that being so significant, actually. Yeah, let your inner child play. Mm. Let your friends help you. Ask for and support help from others. Let things happen. Let things happen naturally. Kind of like release control maybe over certain things. Let things happen. Let yourself be who you are, you know? Let yourself. Maybe there's something you don't let yourself do. Let yourself. And then finances and your career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Um, again, foundations. I really just feel this speaking to foundations right now um working on those foundations fine-tuning those foundations because you know your foundations might actually be pretty good but it's kind of like um i'm, I'm feeling like this like planting seeds this oh yeah planting seeds um watering uh those seeds like watering yourself um growth um love i'm really feeling this being in the form of love like when you plant these seeds and you water these seeds it's it's about loving yourself it's about really valuing yourself um yeah like okay All right um okay we are going to pull um, one card from this deck for a um, message about abundance here, whether that is monetary and material, or it could also be about relationships, love, whatever kind of abundance in your life right now that you are seeking or that is, is, is coming forward for you. Um, abundance in that area, message here. 
Okay. Ooh, sever vows of poverty. Dear one, there is no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you have that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime. As you do so, all effects of those or these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. So yeah, I feel like this is really speaking to maybe just like certain conditioning that you have been kind of like accustomed to since you were young you know again working with that inner child things that you came to believe back then i, I feel like there's this 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 opportunity here to really kind of go back and reprogram certain things if you are willing and i feel like there's enough of like a break right now from like certain routines in your life where you do have the time and the capability and the strength to do this if you choose to to kind of go back and just yeah really um recreate your life in a way like make it what you want it to be i don't know okay taurus we are going to close your reading here with um a guardian um angel message card yeah okay i already shuffle these actually so we're gonna go ahead and just start doing this one guardian angel message for taurus Gosh, that was like too many cards okay okay but two then fell on the desk so we're gonna we're gonna take those Real quickly, I kind of got a little kind of download from, okay, so some of, like, like a lot of cards fell just on the floor before these cards came out. Just again, intuitively before we even look at what these are, I do feel that there are certain things that you're having to let go. Just intuitively, there are things that you're having to let go of to really find what is it. What is it? What is it? What you're looking for, what you need, what you're searching for right now. What is it? Something is being eclipsed and that's okay. Whatever it is that is being eclipsed right now from your life, it's okay. It's for your highest good. Again, again, if you were to see both, you know, outcomes of your life, seeing it not being eclipsed and it being eclipsed and how your life went in those avenues, if you compare them side by side, you would want what is happening to happen. You would choose that because you chose that back before you incarnated here. So we're just going to now see what these messages are. Okay, you got um, Guardian Angel. Oh, it's funny. I, I haven't seen this card before in this deck, but there's actually a card titled Guardian Angel. The, it's a Guardian Angel deck. Anyway, I'll read it. Trust. All unfolds in perfect timing. You are one with divine will. Focus only on love and all you truly desire will manifest at the most perfect moment. Be patient. I, uh, your guardian angel, am watching over you. Your guardian angel is watching over you, Taurus. It's true. It is true. And then guilt also came out. You do not need another's approval to feel worthy of love. Regardless of what you've done or what you think you've failed to do. From your soul's perspective, there's neither right nor wrong. Every experience in life is here to help you expand your awareness of love so that you may embrace ever greater spheres of wisdom. You've done nothing wrong. You've done nothing wrong, Taurus. All right. Um, I think that is going to conclude your reading. I think because my camera is starting to like fall. <laughs> so I'm gonna hold it here. Um, thank you for watching. I hope that you have a blessed, beautiful day. So much love to you, Taurus. I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.